We were driving through South Carolina, approaching Georgia when we saw this. So there was traffic miles and miles ahead of us, and there was a huge billboard that says Le Creuset Outlet Turn Here. So we quickly exited because A, we're also looking for some restroom. But this is the only standalone Le Creuset Outlet anywhere. Oh. Usually they are with premium outlet malls. And I mean, there's one right here in Kissimmee that I go to in Vineland. But this, I've never seen a standalone store like this. So of course we had to visit it, and this wasn't even part of the itinerary. But and did you get anything? Uh, maybe. Um, however, I am a huge, huge fan of Le Creuset. I've been collecting their products for many, many years now. Different colors always. And um, yes, I did get a pot because it was less than 50% off. And here's Georgia. This is Georgia and we were and looking so we're, yeah, we were looking for, for somewhere dinner. to eat. Our end point was, was supposed to be Jacksonville, but there was no way we were going to make it, make it in time for dinner. So first we went to Texas Roadhouse and it was too long. Too long. Then we went to Longhorn, again long wait. And then we went to Olive Garden. Which was right across and we were thinking, oh, let's hope that they can just seat us. But, but still, it's yeah. about a 45 minute lot and that's a lot for traffic. So this is the next morning. We are Checking at our hotel. Out. We're going for breakfast and we are at the Holiday Inn Suites. We are at the Holiday Inn Suites. And what's good again is that there's all these breakfasts for the guys to um, have. I mean, I don't really eat much. Yeah, so they had later. pancakes, sausage, eggs. But I think the boys just had sausage and eggs and they had a tiny bit of coffee which i haven't had but again they have these uh, yogurts and fruits that i usually take to go but we are in jacksonville now actually and um we are going to head to kissimmee or yes. kissimmee so this is uh, right across the st john's river which is the longest river through florida it exits through atlantic ocean but they have all these bridges to cut across Jacksonville and we were able to find another mug Florida mug this time so this was a Starbucks there we asked if they had any other city mugs but you know they didn't really know so this is Tito Hill's house this is my home away from home uh, I've uh, been here since I was 12 years old every single summer or March break and now he has a new gym he's totally revamped his house changed his flooring he had a bit of a flooding incident a few years ago but the last time we were visiting with him was 2018 so that's about Four years ago, changed mm -hmm. all of his living spaces up, so at least it's... And there's, uh, again, new floors, new kitchen, and we were just looking for lunch. Yeah. There's Mara's mom. And so boys are so happy to be back because they've also been to this house many, many times and we have slept over here, but uh, lately we're sleeping over at Timeshares. Yeah, my last time here was actually 2011 and it has changed a lot since then. 11 years. Yes. So I think the only one that he hasn't really, he has to work next is his bedroom, right? But uh, yeah, his gym is cool because at least it hopefully encourages him to work So he out. has a lot of birds. Growing up, my uncle has always had lots of pets. He's had birds, he's had fish, and right now these are his budgies and his finches and his lovebirds. He used to have parrots and mayas and I mean beyond birds, he also had dogs and cats and even right now two piranhas named Bruno and Mars. Um, his, oh, I didn't see the piranhas. They're right at the at the workout place oh. at the gym. Always that same place for aquarium. And uh, he just loves to grow it. He's a physician. There's eggs there. Uh, over in this area. And this is what uh, keeps him happy. And then he also has in this room some cats. So he keeps his cats away from us because he knows that I'm highly allergic to them. Did he have two or three? He has three. And it's funny. They have a, a little window that peeks into the birdland eyes. So it's almost like they're watching little birds fly this around. is um a litter box but it's self-contained oh yes so they make poop and it cleans up after them and he has some he has a pod he has more koi fish koi fish yeah koi he fish. has more koi fish yes you didn't see that i don't go to this room ever oh yeah because of the fish i mean because of the, the, the cats yes i avoid it and even then I'm, I'm already getting even itchy right now looking at this <laughs> ah itchy <laughs> so mason actually had an allergic reaction after so now we know that he's Kind of allergic to cats so before i usually go oh my gosh that unfriendly cat but he's had beautiful cats in the past he had persian blues he had the one that looks like an egyptian sphinx but hayden had a really great time with the cats yes he loves and them. the dog too so he has two dogs so this is now our timeshare yep the village vacation this is actually the welcoming center yep so this is where we check in um and there are several different uh separate buildings so this is probably the main building to check in and um and there's 19 buildings actually so that 
First circle is where we checked in. And we are at the very back end, which are more of the uh, family home suites. Yes. And so this is what we got. We actually have two rooms. Yep. Both of them have separate kitchens and separate living rooms, but I mean, we'll just use everything. So Marie and I are stay, staying in this room here. This is, uh, yeah, one of the master suites and it's very spacious. I'm not sure about this in-room jacuzzi. <laughs> The boys were all excited about that, and then they have, of course, the uh, ba ba bathroom that and then goes the into the kitchen. kitchen set. It has uh, laundry rooms for each each unit. And, and then, then this is the boys' room. And so we just keep all the rooms open, the doors open, it's so like that a it's hallway. joining. And uh, Tristan and Mason are here. Hayden was more than thrilled. Same exact opposite uh, layout plan as ours. Yeah, so I guess it looks clean now. We'll see at the end of the week how it looks. Yeah. But we'll try to keep it up. Of course we'll keep it up. And so we we have to buy our own groceries. Well, my mom already got us our groceries, so our fridge is pretty full. But most likely we'll be eating out anyway. This is just for snacks for the boys. And I just took some more footage again after we kind of settled in. Yes. So we it's packed, our, nice packed our suspicious. clothes away. This is the first that I've had two adjoining units that are exact replicas of each other. Usually I'll find a, a unit that has three or two bedrooms and then a shared dining area, shared living space, shared kitchen. So we are actually on our way out and we are going to Disney Springs. Yes. It used to be called Downtown Disney. However, outside it's been torrentially raining. Yeah, it just started raining. It's, it's, suppo it's supposed to rain the whole time we're in Florida. Correct. So it's been quite so wet like here's this. Here's the rain you can see. But it stopped after dinner. So we are actually meeting up with some friends to head to the boathouse. Yes. So I've never tried the boathouse restaurant. Every time I had tried, they're always so full. And uh, the, you can do reservations. So actually our friends had reservations for months in anticipation of us coming here. So this is the parking. This is new, you said. Yes. Uh, everything from 2018 until now, they've slightly revamped it. So now this is like the orange parking zone. There's yep. also a Grape grapefruit. Lime. We know there was a grapefruit. <laughs> And a lime sauce, so it's very citrusy. And they even have now um, security. Yes, to so get this in. is for uh, COVID checks, I guess. Um, they check your purse. But they didn't but check any COVID, it was more no. your purses. But there's all these signs still mm. to like make sure that you don't have any symptoms. I was talking to our friends, they said this started during when COVID started. Yeah, because this wasn't here again in 2018. They just had a uh, escalator. This part was the only exit down from the parking space that I remember. And it it uh, is to this one is closer to the Coca Cola store, and there's another one closer to the Disney store. So it flanks them. That's why when I didn't know which one was which, but I would usually park by the other one, I see. closer to Girardelli. So we're just walking to the boathouse. It's kind of at the end of. Yeah. So good thing we have Springs. all these little umbrellas that we've carried, um, packed with us. This is the benefit of driving, I guess, that you have a. Van full of supplies. Yeah, a lot of people were wearing the ponchos. Yes, we have those too. So this is the boathouse and it's known for their, I guess, seafood and steak. And so usually there's actually these cars, vintage cars that can float in the lagoon and you can have your dinner there too. And you can even have your dinner in a boat. You'll see. That's right. I took some, there it is. So here is their... There's, a, there's another family, they're having their dinner in a boat. Yes, so this is the bar area and they have different designated rooms for different themes. That's all nautical or marine. There are motors up there hanging, they have paddles in another room. So a nice themed restaurant. Yep. But I, I hear it's hard to get reservations, huge lineups outside. Exactly, even us with reservations for 6.30 for example, we didn't go in until closer to 7. Yeah. So, I mean, you can make a fuss, but everybody's still in the same boat of waiting. Yes. So Very um, popular, very popular. I guess popular. people can walk away from it, but I mean, if you really want to try it out. This is more like a cruise liner. This is what my mom's used to whenever she goes to cruise. Yeah, it's like, like we're on a cruise, yes. actually. This is how uh, I feel like they do the full service. So those are our family friends. Here's the menu. Yep. So I just wanted something small and light. I wasn't sure again in terms of portion sizes how these things are. I didn't try the bread. But why not? Because I didn't want to get too full. Yeah, I didn't try the bread because no one was trying the bread. The kids, <laughs> the kids, had the kids the bread. Are, yeah, the kids are eating the bread. I think and I so had... here the kids had their meal in these little paper boats. Yes. Cardboard boats, which was cute. They were playing with it afterwards. Yes. So I got the porterhouse. What did you get? I had the lobster bisque soup and a salad. Chopped Tristan salad. Tristan also got the porterhouse. Yep. Mason mm. got the salmon. salmon nice and healthy 
And yeah, the, the, the kids just had... They were yeah. shy at the beginning, but then they started warming up. And then for the rest of the night, they were just being all playful. We thought about getting dessert, but by then, of course, they never make it to dessert. Although I heard that there's this Gideon Bakery that I'm all about to go to. But the lineup again for that is so long. And someone had a Lego bag. I know, the things that catch your attention. So this <clears> is <throat> afterwards, after dinner. It stopped raining. And so... That, I like the lights. Yes. So many nice nights. So this used to be, um, what is it called? Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island. Years and years and years ago, for 20, 25 years ago. But now it's uh, downtown Disney, or Disney Springs then, isn't that what it's called? There's a hot air balloon there. That's a ride that goes up and down uh, for purchase, of course. But there's all these stores and boutiques. This over to the right is Gideon's Bakery. And as you can see, the massive lineup is, well, very long. But uh, all sorts of delicious cookies, cakes, and pastries in there. I'm not sure where this guy was. I'm not sure. But here's the lineup you're talking yeah. about. So there's another location in uh, downtown Florida. Unfortunately, they're closed today. So we might check that out one more day as opposed to lining up in, here in Disney Springs. But I definitely um, mean to come back to Disney Springs just to take a look around during Gideon's. daylight hours. There's another STK steak. Maria and Enzo's Pizzeria. And apparently there's a, a, a very good steakhouse, Enzo's Under. I thought this view was nice. Oh. The sun setting. Look at you looking at the view. Disney style. I didn't even go in there. What is Disney style? Clothes. And then at Starbucks Coffee, we were trying to look for more mugs. And, and we did find one. We found one that's Orlando. Yeah. So there's different, <laughs> there's actually different um, Florida ones. There's a Miami one, there's a Florida Keys, and Orlando, and Florida. So usually there's just one for each state, but this one had the actual city, so that's kind of unique. Mm -hmm. And Hayden was so excited to see this because it's a Star Wars store. This was here in 2018. Um, I don't think he remembers it, but I remember buying like Mickey Mouse ears for him here mm. in the in the form of like a R two D two or something. Okay, yeah. We didn't bring any of our uh, Mickey Mouse ears. No. But you know he was all sorts of excited. He wanted to buy a lightsaber again. So I'm just trying to convince him to wait until the end of the. He week. has a lot of lightsabers. Yeah, know. lots of lightsabers, and they probably just need to have their batteries changed. But uh, we, I just told him, let's go check out what's in Hollywood Studios first, maybe there's toys you want there, and then if nothing, we'll come back here. And of course, he's like, but I have my own funds. I'm like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, it's all theme for Star Wars, of course, and lots of toys uh, related to Mandalorian, Baby Yoda. Next store over is Marvel Superhero Headquarters, and similar to Star Wars, but this time it's all of the superheroes in Marvel. And again, it's a franchise that Disney's collaborated with, or if not owned, and here he is asking now for Baby Groot. And I'm like, nope, remember you wanted Star Wars lightsaber? It was nice and soft though. Oh, I didn't, I didn't try it. So those were the watches <clears throat> up there you were, or not yes, straps, they're I mean. They're, pa they're passes that people use to just get through the park if you're living in the resort. I didn't see any stickers. Keep an eye out for those. But they, those um, passes are different themes too. Yes, and they are sold at online. So this was a nice place. Salt and Straw is one of the most delicious ice cream places. Very interesting. They're um, mixtures of ice cream. So Tristan, for example, had the strawberry with balsamic and black pepper. I got a cinnamon one. Cinnamon snickerdoodle. Yeah. I just stayed close to my chocolate chip cookie dough, but it had a bit of a different flavor to it. There was one that was a tre leches, but and you can sample different flavors before mm -hmm. you actually commit to one, which, which was nice. Which is sneaky. Coca-Cola. We didn't go in here. Yes, this is a fun store actually. That's why I want to go back when we had gone here. The boys really enjoyed that store. And these are the expensive stores. Well, they're the alley of, uh, I guess, stores. They have Uggs, they have Lucky Brand Jeans, they have Tommy Bahama. So, I mean, when you go to these stores, a lot of their uh, items too are very Disney related. So, for example, um, years ago, a friend of mine bought the Ugg boots and she wanted Swarovski crystals in the shape of Mickey Mouse ears on them. So only in Disney can you actually purchase these items. Mm. They have uh, MAC Cosmetics, they have Uniqlo, they have um, Under Armour. Yeah. All as uh, different standalone buildings too. Different stationary stores. So again, like it's a fun atmosphere when it's the evening time, but during the daytime you can actually see. Have you been to it. Disney Springs at this late at night? I have, but like we're probably just there for like desserts. So this is super dry. This is new. So super dry is a... Uh, oh, he's trying that again. <laughs> hoodie and... Um, oh, I'm surprised he didn't find me for this. Well, you got a, you got a hoodie. I got a cute little hoodie. 
And so this is uh, what is this? It's a pop up card. Like it's one of those three dimensional. I thought they were cake toppers, but no, they're pop up. They're cards. cards, yeah. So some of them are as big as this baby Yoda, which is really big. That's huge. And um, there's one for Beatles, and again, Star Wars, super superheroes, and then generic ones. But uh, they're about ten dollars each. As cute as they are, I feel like I would never really keep them for so long. Or, no. or you kind of keep them, but then you put them away. And if it gets wet. That's right. So this is Uniqlo. It's this is Tristan's favorite store. Very, very big. Um, always second floor is the men's section, so they're pretty versed at looking for the men's section. Those two. Did that usually have these? Um... No, not not for other Uniqlo's. I mean, downtown Disney Uniqlo is next level. You know, it's yeah, just it looked pretty cool. It did. It almost feels like you're maybe at an airport or in Hong Kong. Yeah. <clears throat> and the Lego store had a huge lineup. Oh, I didn't even notice. I was wondering why we never yeah it walked was just inside. A, a huge lineup. World of Disney was the original Disney store, and they actually have a, you know, a poutine uh, little takeout place there. So again, very. Do they still crowded. sell pins? Yeah. Uh, see... they, they they do have pins. It's not to the extent that it's not pins are collected anymore. But of course, everybody has different ears version, and he wanted that too. There was a live band Outside. in the center court of uh, Disney World of Disney. We didn't buy anything because I just wanted to see what was there. That's cool. All these things are new. All these new um, builds by Lego. Yeah, uh, at the front. There used to be um, the, Aurora, Princess Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, and the prince. And the dragon. Slaying a dragon. I didn't see the dragon. I know, they replaced them already with those because that was there last time too. Uh, the Lego dragon? Yes, the Lego dragon. Uh, it was a staple. Oh, this is a popular restaurant. Yeah, so I've taken the kids here before a few times because again, they were kid friendly. They're like um, Rainforest Cafe. Mm -hmm. Where's that wall? It was just as we were oh. exiting. And so this bakery is a gluten-free bakery. The last time Tristan and I had gone here, this was one of our must-go two stops. And the boathouse at night. The boathouse at night. Again, still crowded. This was this place closed at 11 p.m. 